Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle. It's almost Christmas and the Christmas update is here. But we are not here for Christmas nor for the upgrade. We are here for war. And we just had a victory. Yes, indeed. Black and white won against the Brotherhood. But the Christmas update did not bring with it only a few challenges, but also an update to the Inferno Towers, which means Inferno Towers no more stop healing, which means I was able to get a 3 star on their first base. And that's not a small achievement because I almost never get 3 stars on the first base. But before we get there, we will have a look at King's attacks because 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 uh, because he asked me to. So let's have a look at King's attacks. First King against Palm. Number eight, number against number four. So King will start off with uh, minions all around to kill the buildings that are far. Why not? And then send in all the balloons without killing the CC troops. And the CC troops, holy shit, the CC troops will burn down these balloons. These balloons stand no chance, these balloons are dead. These balloons are down. And this is a failed attack if I have ever seen one. Uh, <laughs> that wasn't great. Okay, sure it was a TH10, but uh, let's be honest, this looks much more like a TH9 than a TH10. But you will get 2 stars, which is uh, better than nothing, but still pretty poor. One does not win WoW with only 2 stars, you need 3 stars. Anyway, better than nothing, that's a 2 star. Let's have a look at his second attack and see if it is any better. Well, Vance, and let's have a look. Uh, King, uh, he got 3 stars by number 2. Uh, okay. And number 8 against number 8, 55 and 2 stars, so I guess this will not be too good. A pretty small, no, a decent, no, a small TH9. And he will start off with balloons trying to lure the CC troops, but, because there's a but, uh, it seems like he will not get to the range. So what does he do? He decides to send in all the troops. And surely he will get destroyed by the CC troops because there must be three mini dragons coming in and burning down the balloons. Have a look at those balloons all taken down in a matter of seconds. And by now you probably realize that uh, this will never be a three star. You realize it because just as I did, uh, we saw that uh, it was 55%. So now we know why it fails, because full balloon attacks without uh, luring the CC out is never going to work. So yeah, not the best attacks, kings, not the best. But at least he attacked, and that's already something. This being said, let's have a look at my attack against number one, and it is a 3 star. I'm pretty proud of it. So let's have a look. TH11. Pretty big th TH11. Uh, small walls, uh, decent defenses. Actually, it looks more like uh, TH10 uh, and a half. Just like my defenses. And as you can see, I am using a lot of healers. Not because of the update, just because actually I was always using uh, this strategy. I will use my uh, Warden ability pretty early so that my troops don't get destroyed by the CC troops. A freeze spell for the CC troops with the poison spell, because I don't need to freeze the internal towers anymore, because they do not stop healing anymore. And that's great! Have a look at those bowlers staying alive forever! Man, before the update, those bowlers would have died long ago! Internal towers feel very useless right now. Uh, sadly enough, my queen went to the bot side while I would have liked her to stay with the warden and kill the 
defense is in the middle. My king is breaking through the base but finally goes down and we only have a few bowlers on the top, a few bowlers on the bottom and a queen. The cannon starts focusing her and the archer tower. This is quite a lot of firepower. She might go down. No, don't go down. You cannot go down now. She stayed alive but no, no. She takes more aggro and she goes down and now I start to worry. I am not quite sure if I can make it to the 3 stars. Only a few bowlers for so many troops that they are still healers. And remember, nothing to stop them from healing. So the bowlers will keep sending in the balls. What kind of balls do they throw? Are they rocks or just um, normal classic balls? I don't know. Anyway, we still have a few bowlers and they will take forever to go through those walls. Uh, thankfully, those walls are pretty low level, so it will not take uh, too long. And finally, they get to the last defenses, but those two bowlers have no more healers, so they will go and die. <sighs> Let's have a look. Three more bowlers, or maybe only two, I don't know and a ton of healers on their back to keep them alive and to secure the 3 stars and this is it, this is the victory that sealed the deal that made us win the war because I'm gonna tell you after having your first base getting destroyed like that you don't feel too good especially since uh, they did not, did not get a single star on my base so yeah we won 28 to 27 and man, does it feel good. That's it for today. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.